In today's homework video, we're going to be doing some word problems with coordinate grids and ordered pairs. Alright, so we're going to start out the lesson by reading a couple of problems together that we're going to do, and then I will let you solve some of them. But you're going to have to really think about what the problem is asking you, because it is going to be asking you questions on what the ordered pair would be, but it's not going to give you a coordinate grid. So we're going to have to think about very, very closely what the x-axis is and what the y-axis is, and make sure that you know that in an ordered pair, which one comes first. All right, let's start with number one. We're going to do this one together. Obviously, you can see here that there is no coordinate grid for us to look at. We just have to read the problem and figure out what the coordinates would be. All right, so our problem says point W is five units away from the origin in the direction of the x-axis and eight units away in the direction of the y-axis. What could be the coordinates of point W? Okay, so even though it doesn't give us a coordinate grid, I'd like you just to try to think about what a coordinate grid would look like. How we know that the x-axis is what goes on the horizontal, it's left and right. And then the y-axis is up and down. And the origin is the space where those two axes meet, the one right in the middle. The origin, remember, has the coordinate 0, 0. All right, so let's go back to the problem, and we're going to try to figure out what is the problem asking us, okay? So first of all, it tells us that it is 5 units away in the direction of the y-axis, and we're starting at the origin. So if you think about, if I'm starting here at the origin, and I'm going to be moving in the direction of the y-axis, or I'm sorry, the x-axis, I'm going to be moving left or right. So if I know that I'm moving 5 units on the x-axis, I know that my, my x-coordinate is going to have to be 5. Okay, the problem is also telling us that it is 8, oops, that it is eight units away in the direction of the y-axis. So that means that I'm gonna be moving up the y-axis eight units, which means that my y-coordinate has to be eight. So what could the coordinates of point W be? Point W would be the coordinates five, eight. All right, number two. Point A is five units away from the origin on the y-axis. What could the coordinates of point A be? Stop and think about this one for a second. Remember, visualize your coordinate grid. Where is the y-axis? Where is the x-axis? And where is the origin? Now let's pull out what the question is telling us. It's saying that point A is five units away from the origin on the y-axis. Okay, so I know that the y-origin is the second number in the coordinate pair. So I know that it's going to be something 5 because it's giving us y. Now, is it giving us the x-axis? No, it doesn't say anything about the x-axis. So we have to assume that if we're starting at the origin and it only tells us the y-axis, then we're not moving anywhere on the x-axis. So our coordinate for the y-axis would be 0. So what could the coordinates of point A be? Point A would be 0, 5. And so then if I had a coordinate grid, it would look a little bit like this. I'm not moving anywhere on the y-axis. I'm staying at 0, and I'm just moving up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, and I need one more, 5 right here. All right, number 3, a point is located as described. So the point is five units away from the origin in the direction of the x-axis and one unit away from the origin in the direction of the y-axis. I'd like you to pause the video and figure out what the coordinates of this point would be. Okay, so hopefully you paused the video and you figured out what these coordinates would be. Let's go back through the problem. We know that in the direction of the x-axis, it is five units away from the origin. And in the y-axis, 
it is one unit away from the origin. So that means our coordinate pair for this point, it didn't really tell us what the point would be named, but I'm just going to call it point P. Our coordinate for point P would be 5, 1. Okay, number four, go ahead and pause the video, read this problem, and then after you finish reading the problem, find the coordinates of the point. All right, let's read this problem together. So it's telling us that a point is located as described 10 units away from the origin in the direction of the x-axis and 19 units away from the origin in the direction of the y-axis. So remembering that in my ordered pair, my x comes first, my y comes second. So that means that it is 10 units away in the direction of the x and 19 away in the direction of the y. So my ordered pair would be 10, 19. All right, good work. Now go to Canvas and take your quiz for today. Good luck, and remember, if you need to review or you're still not understanding the concepts, go back and watch the video again.